Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to remove an unknown iCloud account from your iOS devices. This happens a lot for those who buy a second-hand iPhone or second-hand iOS device get signed in with the owner iCloud account and they forgot to sign out for you. So you're stuck with their iCloud account in your device. Or sometimes even your own iCloud account, you may forget the password. This method also can help with that. So this method make use of an app called iMyPhone iBypasser. This app supports both Mac and Windows computer. I have the link for this app in the description. You can check them out. If you're using Windows computer, you can download the Windows version. If you use Mac computer, you can also use the Mac version. So this is the look of the app. Let me quit this and reopen it for you. So it's right here. So as you can see, there are three features of this app that you can use. We have bypass iCloud activation lock screen, remove screen lock and bypass activation, and turn off find my iPhone. Okay, we'll take a look at the first one here, activation lock. And there's something you need to note down here. So all the three features of this app require your iOS device to be jailbroken. And after you use this method to bypass the activation lock, what you can do is you can access some photos, contacts and so on, but features like phone call or seller or signing iCloud with a new Apple ID won't work. So basically you can access some features using this method to bypass the activation lock. Maybe it is still in a better mode or something. I try it. It works. It of course bypasses the activation. But when I try to activate my phone with a SIM card so that it can get to the home screen and it won't, it just say activation fail. It doesn't show me the activation lock like this, but it cannot activate my phone. It just stuck at the phone activation fail. So I would not recommend you to try this first option here. But the other two options work well. We have remove screen lock and bypass activation and turn off find my iPhone here. So basically these two end up doing the same thing. They remove the unknown iCloud account from your device. The only main difference between the second and the third features is that the second feature will take more steps than the third feature. Therefore it will require longer time if you proceed with the second method. And remember, using these two methods here, also remove all contents on your device. Anything, any app or that you have some pictures, videos in your phone, these two methods will remove all of those. So make sure that you back up your device first before you proceed with this method. So my favorite option would be the last option because even though it says turn off find my iPhone, it also remove the iCloud account from my device. And that's what this video is all about. And most importantly, it requires less steps than the second option. So click here. So before we start, I wanted to take a look at my device first. I am using iPhone 6s here. So this method work on iOS 6s all the way to 11 Pro Max running iOS 13 up to 14.6. As long as your device can be jailbroken, this method will work. So if we take a look at the top here and look at the iCloud, you can see I'm stuck with this iCloud account and even find my iPhone here is on. So I want to remove this iCloud account from my device. And again, if you take a look at the iOS version about, you can see that this is iOS 14.6, the latest version. So we click on start here. And of course, if you start for the first time, it will download the jailbreak tool first because I already tested before, so it already downloaded mine. They say it downloaded successfully, so click on start jailbreak. And the jailbreak tool will pop up. So the jailbreak tool that this app uses is Check Rain, the latest version 0.12.4. And you may have seen it say, sorry, iPhone 6s is not supported. If that is your case, then click on option. Click on allow untested iOS, iPadOS, tvOS versions here. And also click on skip A11BPR check. Click back. As you can see, that message stopped showing up. And now we can begin the jailbreak. And you can click start now. Click OK. You click next. So that the device will be turned into recovery mode. So 
So you just follow the procedure here and you need to turn this device into the FU mode. So click start now. And release. Keep holding for 10 seconds. Okay, they say the FU was successfully. Wait for it to jailbreak. It's not jailbreaking now. You can see on my phone screen here. Okay, you can see they say all done. So we'll click done here. So we'll cross this. We may have to click next a few times until it recognizes that the phone is jailbroken. Okay, so your device has not been jailbroken yet. And you can see on my phone screen right now, it shows check grade. We need to actually install CD. Click install here. While waiting, we may want to try again to see if it works. It's installing CD now. But if this app detect that my phone is still broken, then I don't need to run CD. Let's try again. Right now, CD pop up on my iPhone screen. So if this doesn't proceed to the next stage, then you need to run CD. Wait for it to load. You click install complete upgrade here to install everything. We'll click next again. Okay, so we need to unplug the device and replug it. We'll click next again. Okay, you can see now it detects that my phone has been jailbroken and it starts turning off find my iPhone. So you say finish turning off find my iPhone, but you need to verify first by typing on or off in here based on the website result. So we click here and we click on check find my iPhone status on my device. Click on this website. Copy the serial number here and we paste it here. Click search and we have to verify that we are human traffic light okay so find my iPhone feature is off I have to type that in and we confirm so now we wait for it you can see on my phone screen now it start removing the Apple ID as well as the find my iPhone feature Say so find my iPhone feature successfully turned off. You click done here. If you take a look at my iPhone screen, right now my iPhone is resetting. So we have to wait for it. Remember, it will remove everything on your phone. So before you start this process, make sure that you back up all the data on your phone first. Okay, so the reset process has been completed. Let's set up the new iPhone here quickly. Now we go to settings to find out. As you can see there, the iCloud account has been removed successfully from my device. Okay, that's it guys. This is how you can remove an unknown iCloud account from your iOS device running iOS 13 up to 14.6 successfully. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.